Okay, Google. What's my name? Your name is Paul D. Okay, Google. What's my name? Your name is Brian. Up next, find out how to set your Google Home to work with multiple users. Hey, welcome to Handy Guys. And we have a there's a great new feature out for the Google Home device, which is right over here. Yes. And we've been talking about, and now it will support multiple user accounts. Finally, right. So I don't, I'm tired of it telling me about your day. Right. So the question is how to set this up. We've never done it before. We haven't even tested this. And What's typically up? you would do it amongst All right, family let's go. members. Walk through. Right? Yeah. But let's here do it. we're going to do it with All the two right. Handy Guys. We're going to see. So what I'm going to do is um, go, go into, into your, my Google uh, Home device. Now, the first time you go in, you'll probably be prompted on this feature. Yeah, we do noticed, you want to set this yeah. up? Right. So we noticed that it prompted you, so you can just click on that. And in our case, I think what I need to do is to go into, what was it, more, more settings. More settings, and then... Go down to... Sh uh, shared devices. Shared devices, we think. And, and then you, you, haven't, you haven't added any devices yet. So we're going to add a device. It finds our Google Home, which we called Studio. Okay, so I'm going to choose it. No, make sure Oops. it's selected, yeah, and then make sure hit it's continue. Selected. Yep, continue. Yep. Now, the way it works, it, sh it should recognize voices. So if I ask it yeah. for my schedule, it'll tell me my schedule. And, and if you ask it, so what, what I'm going to do is it says, um, so we have to teach it. So it understands who's, how voices sound. So I'm going to click continue. Okay. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. So it asked for OK Google twice and Hey Google twice using my voice. Here now the device is being updated. Our Google Home is blinking like crazy, like the R2-D2 or something like that. <laughs> OK, so you're all set. Your system can now recognize your voice when you say OK Google or Hey Google. And it says, try saying, OK Google, what is my name? Your name is Paul D. OK, so it knows my name. And now the question is, how do we get your account added to this? I so don't know. I'm going to click. You've got a button that says continue. Yeah, we'll click continue. And it says, so, tell others in your home. Google works with multiple people. Tell others at home to download the Google Home app, and they can get personalized results too. So why I, don't you I, go ahead? I have the Google oh, Home app right and here. It, and it has a prompt to invite. So I can invite the other we'll invite. people. All right, we'll invite you via email and to your Brian. So it, it, I, it prompts me to use a sharing app. I could have said it via text okay, or okay. Twitter or whatever, but I'm going to do Brian. I think I did the right one. I'm going to do it via email. And you guys podcast and I'm sending it. Oh, let's do uh, a subject home. in there. Okay, so you, your assistant will provide your personal info only when it recognizes your voice on these devices. Okay. So one thing you'll have to do is test and ask it for uh, your calendar right. right now. and see. Okay, Google. What's my calendar look like? I couldn't verify your voice, so I can't tell you that. You can either try again or retrain the voice model in the Google Home app. Okay, so this is good. So we've shown that it is absolutely secure. <laughs> at least <laughs> okay. in a simple test. I'm not good at doing impersonations, yeah. so we're not going to get well, there. Yeah, that would be fun. See if someone could. But now we're, you're going to go through and you've clicked on the email invite. I've clicked on the email invite. It's asking me to install the app, which I already did because I have one of these right. at home. So I'm going to need to actually, I think, add this studio, uh, studio uh, home device. And it's telling me here what I'm going to need to do. OK, Google. OK, so Brian had to say OK, Google twice and Hey, Google twice. You no. did have to reboot your phone, correct? I to did. get this all to work. We both had to reboot our phones because there was something wrong with the mic phone for some reason. Now it's doing an update. Updating. Please wait while the devices are being updated. Are there any lights on that right now? It was lights when I was doing that. Okay. Okay, Google. What's my name? Your name is Brian. Interestingly enough, we both had to, you want to reset your phones before you do this and clear out all your apps, which you'll do when you reset your phone. So reboot it completely. Yeah. And then go into your Google Home app and do this procedure. We were finding we were getting errors if we didn't do that about yeah. the microphone, not being able to activate the microphone. So 
we're not really sure what's up with that. But otherwise, it was fairly simple. Yeah, once it once, once it you, worked. It yeah, worked. as long as you know where the settings are in the app, we showed you that where you can go into the settings. Um, then it, it, it seems to work. Obviously, we would need more testing, but yeah. it does recognize I cannot get your calendar. You can't get mine. Yeah, that's so. pretty cool. All right, so then I'll set that up at home with me and my wife and my kids. We'll all set theirs up. You can do the same with yours. Cool. And uh, yeah, all right. Well, thanks, Google, for adding that feature. I think it's going to be useful. Thanks for watching.